Go ahead. Thank you, Jen. First on COVID, does President Biden think these theories we hear more about now that COVID-19 may have been man-made and escaped from a lab in China are a wacky conspiracy theory or based on what he has heard and been briefed on, does he think that's possible? Well, we went through this journey together yesterday, so let's do it again. Uh, so the president believes there needs to be an independent investigation, one that's run by the international community. It's an international pandemic that has killed hundreds of thousands of people around the world. He believes the Chinese need to do more to put forward data, to be more transparent. And in the second phase of this effort, he's certainly hopeful that will be the case. And he believes that every theory should be explored through that process, but that we shouldn't jump to conclusions before that data and that information is made available. Thank you. And on the rise in violent crime, uh, compared to this time last year, homicides up 113 percent in Minneapolis, up 38 percent in Philly, up 22 percent in Chicago. Uh, just to clarify, the White House's position on this is that that is mostly because of guns? Well, first, I'm not sure what data you're looking at, but I think what we can, most data that is out there shows that there's actually been a rise in crime over the course of the last year, since the start of the pandemic, which actually predates President Biden taking office, to be but totally he is clear. Right now. You're right, well, you're right, you're right, Peter. And that's why we're, we are focused, well, we're focused on uh, solutions here. And that's why we proposed uh, putting a five, we put $5 billion in the American Jobs Plan to help address community violent intervention programs, to help fund them. That's also why we fought for funding for state and local governments in the rescue plan, something uh, many, uh, opposed. There was a lot of Republican opposition to that that's helped keep cops on the beat and other public servants in vital ro roles. And it's why uh, his budget proposal, uh, his budget proposes to increase funding for the cops program by $300 million to invigorate community policing. We believe there needs to be funding. We believe there needs to be, uh, we need to help from the federal government ensure community policing and uh, local police have the uh, assistance they need. And the last one, the mayor of St. Louis says that she believes more police does not prevent crime. Does President Biden agree with that? The president believes there's a number of steps that need to be taken to rebuild trust in communities. Police reform is long outdated. He also believes that there needs to be funding for local programs and local initiatives. And there's not going to be a shortage of funding uh, under our watch. Uh, go ahead. Uh, back to Belarus. Uh, why does it seem like the U.S. is sort of lagging behind what other nations have done? The EU was very quick to impose sanctions. What is the U.S. considering and why, why is it taking uh, until now or, or beyond? It? It's only been a few days. It's not, not been that long. I will say that the president has asked his team to develop appropriate options in close coordination with the European Union, our allies, and other international organizations uh, to help hold the Lukashenko regime to account, including sanctions.